together and hope everyone is doing absolutely fantastic welcome to a another live stream here on fishing on the balance sea i hope everyone is fantastic now i know the game is paused at the second i do apologize i just need there we go i just need to get everything loaded up and set up because now, oh there we go weapon so how is everybody doing this fine evening now i have got a lot to do tonight in this game and i thought you guys might come and join me um now what we figured out is that there are a lot of things to do in this game uh tonight because primarily we've got eight crab pots set out there and then i figured out that you once you've got eight off your boat you can go and then reload your boat up with another eight so i put a second load of eight in over there and then once we've got that i am going to go to the bank we're going to get a big loan we are going to buy ourselves a trawler and we're going to go out and we're going to have a little play with the trawler toys so let's start this off nicely now i haven't uh, i need to bash through this as quickly as i possibly can so i'm literally going to drive up next to them and we're going to haul them in the cheating way but but we're going to haul them in and, and crush through these crabs as cool where am i going i'm not concentrating there we go we're, we're going to crash through these crabs as quickly as we possibly can so we can go and get the trawler because I am really excited about trying out the trawler and giving it a blast and having a bit of fun with it. Now I just need to turn... Wow, oof, my headset was really loud there. Right, so if you joined for the last video you know now that you can tell the difference between a male and a female crab. Um, so these deep red, they're all males. But then the females tend to have, can you see that one there? It's got a bit of white on it. It looks different. And that's because it's a female. So we're going to crush through these now, get all these males in. We've got quite a lot of males in this batch actually. We should make a fair bit of dollar out of it, which is great. Uh, we've got a fair bit in the bank. I have been playing this game outside of streaming. Just I just want to grind through it. I've been enjoying it so much that I, I haven't been able to stop playing it. It's been one of those one of those games that have kind of been playing on me and like, yes, you must play. So I have been doing it, um, which <laughs> means unfortunately that a few of my games have, have kind of taken a back seat, um, which, which is is not great, but it's just the way it goes uh, I've got, do you know when you have so many things that you want to do and, and you just don't know where to begin and, and what to do so I'm kind of here and and I'm like ah. Oh. but I've got a uh, one of my buddies me and one of my buddies are teaming up at some point hopefully next week and we're going to start working through a way out now, uh, which I'm really excited for, right, it, it's, it's going to be a bit of a blast, but we'll go through it on that, but right now, um, what we've got to do is, we've got a lot of crabs to get, so we're going to crush through all of these crabs, hopefully, I'm 98% full, that's not bad going, I'm quite happy with that, so we're going to crush through all of these crabs, get all of this done, so we can then go in, get rid of this boat, by a big trawler and let's head out on the trawler right so that's a female that's a female that's a male look i got the wrong one uh that's a female and that's a female there you go and the rest are all males jobs are ringing this looks like another good haul as well so we're going to crush all these in once we've got this we're going to have to run into port and get rid of these eight crab pots because we've got another eight crab pots already out in the water which should be almost ready for collection so i kind of like overwhelm myself well as soon as i figured out that once you've got rid of all your crab pots you can get another eight i was like wicked 
and then I done it instantly and I'm like, oh, this is a lot of crab pots to have and a, a lot of work. Wow, 59 crabs, that's not bad going. So I do apologize, I, I'm kind of doing this maybe the half-hearted way. Uh, I'm not being a cro proper crabber and I'm pulling up alongside, going outside and then getting them and stuff like that. This just kind of, I just need to get through it as quickly as I can, otherwise I'm just going to be over my head. Um, I know we've got a lot of cash, we've got enough cash at the minute to be able to get a loan to get the trawler. But I want to try and get as much, 90, what was that, 90 odd percent? I didn't quite see how much that was, but hey ho. Um, but I'm definitely going to get the trawler. As soon as I have collected my two lots of crab pots, we are going to go straight in with the trawler. So here we go, like you can see the difference there. So that's a male guy, it's a bit smaller, and that's a female guy. So you've got the belly, and there you go. You can see them there as well. Right? So that's like, they're like deep red, which are males, and then they're red with a, a red with like a white in them as well. And they're all females. There's another one there, look. Oh, that's the wrong one. That one. Female, and there's one more female in that. That one's a female. Yeah, there's the other female. Wicked. And then the rest are all males. So let's pop them up. Man, I love this crabbing. This crabbing has got to be my favourite thing to do in this game. It's such a cool concept. Right, they really thought this out. Right. Like, don't get me wrong, like, the netting and the lines are really cool as well. But I don't think any of them are like... As in 52, we're not going to be able... We're going to be filled up really quick. Look like, uh, we, we've already done... Whoops. We're starting to lose fish on them, which is uh, fish, crabs. You know what I mean. But we're starting to lose a bit of crabs on them. But hey ho, right. So, let's keep pulling these in. Hello everybody that is in the stream, thank you for coming to join me, I hope you're all fantastic. Right, let's crush through this, nearly done. Yeah, so as you can see we passed blue now, so I'm starting to lose, I should have started them a bit earlier, but me being all excited and I'm going a bit OTT with the pots, I'm now kind of like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Some males. These little ones look like males. I think that was a female one. Right? Yeah. So if you didn't know, basically you can only keep the male crabs because they're the things. Hi Dave, how are you mate? They are the things that uh, if you take any females in the pool, you basically get fined for them and it's like a thousand quid or cor corona. What I can't remember the exact name of it. The currency that they're using in this game, but um, I'd just say a thousand quid, it's easier. But it makes my pocket like a bit heavier as well, because that means then I've got like over four, four million quid in my pocket. Like, which is pretty good going for a fisherman, right? I'm very well, thank you very much for asking. Just grinding through this. I've kind of overwhelmed myself with that. <laughs> too much work to do. Hi Star, how are you? Nah, I've just got a lot of stuff to get on with. I'm, I'm like, uh, a bit all manic with it all, but hey ho, we're getting for up. How much is in this one? 93%, so that's not bad. Hi Paul. Uh, is the game good? Oh mate, I'm addicted to it. I am totally transfixed on this game. Um, especially crabbing. The crabbing in this game is so unique to anything that... Oh, uh, one of them's a male. It's so unique that I just can't get enough of it. I think that one's a female as well. Get rid of that, that's a female. Don't want any females. Like, it's such a quality game with the crabbing. Don't get me wrong, everything in this game is really well thought out. But the crabbing in particular is just so unique. But 
but yeah, the game is very addictive. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to go in the later stages of the game. Uh, any more news on F Dynasty? Um, to, be, to be honest with you, I, I know I probably shouldn't say this because it's probably not a very nice thing for me to say, but I've, I've half given up. Um, I think they've uh, told that I've, I've kind of, they've upset me a little bit. They've, they've got a bit lazy. Um, I, I understand 100% that they are kind of got a lot on their plate, a lot to do and, and whatnot like that. But, like, they're not releasing any information. They've gone really slack on the community with the discords. Um, they're not chatting, they're not communicating and telling people where they're at. Uh, what's going on? Where's, oh, my controller ran out. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I don't know what happened now. I think I've run out of... Right. Um, but yeah, they, they've gone really slack with the community and, and with the game in general. So I'm a bit... Um, play Deadliest Catch now. That's a good game on PC. Well, I, I would love to have a go at De Deadly Catch, but Deadly Catch is still in early access, isn't it? So that is currently a PC only game. Um, as soon as it comes to console, I'll probably have a look at it. Um, just because this game has really kind of sparked an interest. Like, you, you, you guys were with me in Farmer's Dynasty where everyone was like, ah, try the fishing game and, and whatnot. And I was like, nah, me fishing, dream on. But now it's kind of like, I want to play more fishing games. But I don't know if I could do the whole line fishing thing. I like the simulator style um, this sort of style of, of game is is really kind of at home for me and it's like yeah I guess this is an enjoyable very unique experience simulation experience I'm like I'll definitely be getting the DLC when it comes to that which I think is the Northern Sea or something um, I'm looking forward to that that would be quite nice. Why don't you let me pick up my barrel? I ain't got time for this. Thank you. 54. Wow, we're going to be out of room in a minute. Uh, this one should be guys. Play game on my PC. Like, I, but, um, yeah, because I'm on console, I'm kind of missing out on a lot of these these unique games that are coming out but again I kind of like being on PlayStation like it's, it's it's just nice it's relaxing I don't have to worry about right making sure that all my, everything my graphics are up up to a standard and, and and all that I can just turn on the PlayStation and and play away if you get what I mean like I think at some point I probably will oh, what's going on I probably will get a, uh, uh, where am I going? Alright, oh, okay, that one's not having it, so let's do this one by hand. Uh, give it to me, there we go. Oh, am I out of room? Alright, I'm filled up on, on fish. So, what we're going to do, we are going to take, we're going to go sell it here for a change. I haven't sold anything here yet. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, when that comes out, anyway, when the Northern Sea comes out, uh, I'll definitely be getting that, uh, even if it is a separate game or a DLC. It's, it's kind of the next edition, uh, but we'll definitely be getting that. Um, I've heard rumors that it's going to be multiplayer as well, which will be interesting. I can imagine it just being a massive game of bump boats at points. Um, it would be different if I, if they do it. Back. As well as Code Rush, yeah. Gotta do Gold Rush. Um, like, got a lot of games to do. Like, like, I am really excited about Gold Rush though. Gold Rush is gonna be epic. Like, 
But gang, I think it's gonna it's the same with most games like I play with the sheep if it was cross play. Do you know what? Hi Kate. I'll I'll be uh, I'll be happy to play with anyone like I just Yeah, everyone I would love to be able to say, come on guys, let's let's all play and and whatnot like that. Like having cross play would be pretty amazing. Um I need to get rid of all my crop pots. Duh. I'm not going to bother with bait. Right, that's all I wanted. So that fix me up. Fix me up. There we go. And let's go. I hate this. This is what I make. Getting out of the port on this boat is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Like, yeah, I'd love crossplay to come out though. Crossplay coming out would be absolutely amazing. Like, I, and surely it must be the future. That is definitely the future of gaming. Just, it doesn't matter what you play on, everybody can play. Oh man, they're already on blue. Right, I did want to have a look at that boat, but I haven't got time. We're going to nip now and we're going to get them. The game looks cool to me. Oh, it's it's a really. Oh, I've lost out on all the. Oh, right. right, let's go scout these pots. Like this, this game is is pretty incredible. I love the dynamic weather in it. I I love that it comes. It goes through seasons and and whatnot like that. Like we're in the middle the middle of October now. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to winter when, when we see all the icebergs and, and stuff like that. Hopefully that is in the console version as well. But uh, that's going to be amazing. Like, I'm, I'm quite excited about that. Like, I'm really looking forward to this touring because like, I've been watching the car. Oh, I, I want to see, look at me. I'm, I'm chatting too much. <laughs> the hand pass and stuff. Let's go out pay for a loan. A loan of 78. Well, that's pretty much how much I could take out before uh, before the thing came out. That is, I set the north sea end of the map. At the north end of the map, I might have to take a wonder over there just to just, just to go and experience a bit of ice. Right. Uh, I don't fancy recreating the Titanic, but. I definitely fancy. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss this now, and I. There you go, reckon. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm doing this to the unorthodox way, guys, and coming out and grabbing it. I just really want to get through this as quickly as possible. 90% full. I lost a couple. Like, I might have to go out to the north end and have a look at this ice, because, uh. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, and uh, I think that's part of it, isn't it? Right, that's a female. Uh, that's another female. Uh, that's another female. That looks like a female too, no, that's a male. You have to go out there, the troll. Sweet! Yeah, I'm proper excited. And then I've been on as well. I've been exploring on the map to make sure I got my license. Now, I noticed there's two different types of trawler. Um, we'll have a look at them. Now, I'm going to go with suggestions of what people recommend because I can buy both trawlers now. And I'm looking at them. And one's a bottom trawler, and the other one is a different type of trawler. And I'm like, which which one's going to be better? So I, I know you a lot of... The guys in the stream, uh, uh, I've got, uh, <laughs> I know which ones are which or play them in both, so it'd be great to, to find out what you guys recommend that we go for and and whatnot like that, because I have absolutely, I haven't got the foggiest of which one to do, but, but yeah, so it'd be nice to see what you guys recommend and, and stuff like that. Right, let's get the 
Uh, let's crack on with this. The red one. I was looking at the red one, and the red one actually looks pretty hot. Like, I, I quite like the look of the red one. Like, because of course it's, it's not just about practicality, it's got to look good as well. What? Like, what good's having a boat that you don't like the look of? You've got to like the, it's got to look good and be like, yeah, that's, that baby's sexy. Right, that's a female. Male, 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 male. Oh, males, wow. Oh, no, down through your females. What am I doing? Female. Oh, no, that one's a male. That one looks like a male. That was random. That was a male, too. So the red one's really hard, but it looks cool. Uh, oh, I don't know. I tell you what we'll do is when we get down there and we're we're gonna buy it, we'll we'll that the lunar bow is the best one, the blue one better. All right, so the blue one's the better one. So maybe then, because that is that the bottom trawler, I think, isn't it? Does that mean that the net drags along the bottom? I, because that's the bit that threw me, because one of them said bottom trawler and then the other one said some weird random name that I'd never heard of that made it sound proper official. Um, oh, the red one's the bottom trawler, right, okay. This is it, like, I, I only, I've only had a brief look at them, and I just made sure that I had the right license and could get the loan out to, to get the right one, but... So, we'll just crack through this. I think I've only got about five more pots to get. And then we'll we'll go over and we'll have a look and... That's a female. That's a female. That's a female. There's a female underneath that. That's a female. Any more females? Nope, all males. Not a bad little haul again. So, just want to crack a few guests, folks. If you are enjoying the stream, please don't forget to drop a like on it. Uh, your likes help me out massively. And if you are enjoying it and you haven't subscribed yet, and you would like to be to stay in tune of any future streams that we're running off, then please don't forget to drop the subscribe button. Every little helps. Because we've got loads of new crew videos coming out. I'm going to be working on the next episode of The Long Dark tomorrow. I'm hoping to maybe get a Long Dark stream done, done this weekend as well. Because I, I haven't done one yet, and you can all take the mick out of me surviving less than a day most probably and then we've got some other uh, then it's back to next week we're going to concentrate on those four games um, but I have got another series in the works which might be starting next week I don't know if I'll upload a video for it next week but I me and one of my buddies one of my friends that I've been at uh, gaming with for a very very long time here on Ponto. I think we're going back about seven odd years. Uh, we decided we'll team up and do a series on A Way Out. Just because that game is kind of highly discounted and, and, and free in some respects on a lot of things. So we're going to have a play of that because I've been dying to play it. And, uh, but of course you have to have a second person to play it. So we're going to go from Farming Simulator to a fishing simulator, to a survival simulator, to a building simulator, and now there's going to be a prison break simulator. It's going to, it's we're all over the place. We can't get simulation games coming out out everywhere. And so a way out is basically you and your desired gaming partner, you you're in prison and you've got to work together to break out of prison. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very short, shanky story. Um, 
it looks really good. I uh, absolutely love the look of this game. It's very different, very cinematic. Um, and yeah, you, you've got to break out of prison. Yeah, it, it, it does sound pretty cool. And, like, I've been watching a couple of videos, getting some, ooh, getting some, some luck to what it's all about and stuff like that. And I tell you what, I think we're going to have a, a bit of a laugh of it. And it would be nice. Do you know when, like, at short points you guys get, get sick of my voice? Uh, so it, it would be nice to have someone else in that is, is going to be in, in the stream as well. Well, it won't be in the stream. It will be a recorded series. Um, but there would be, there'd be two of us. So and he's, he's a bit of a banter boy. So it should be a bit of fun as well. I'm sure we'll have some comical moments going on in it. But it, it's just something different. Oh, pardon me. Right, so I hope I haven't got many crabs left to get. Right, we've just done 16 crab pots back to back, so I apologize. Uh, I know that I've said we're going to go trawling, but I just need to get rid of these pots first. The more money I have, the better. That means then I've got three more pots left. So yeah, so that way out series is going to be a good. It's going to be good fun. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be one to watch. But back to tonight. So if you haven't learned to join, basically what we're doing at the moment is we're just finishing off these crab pots, and then we're going to witch back the port. We're going to take out a mass loan. And we're going to get a trawler. Now, I haven't done trawler before. I have absolutely no idea about the trawler. All I know is, is that you're staring at, it's all done through computer screens. And, and that's pretty much all I know about it. So this is gonna, like, I'm gonna look like a complete absolute tool doing this, but it should be fun. It would be interesting. Something slightly different, but hey ho. We've got to learn somewhere. So let's just keep crabbing through. Three more parts. That's all I'm thinking now. Three more parts. There. There. I can think of the money. I'm hoping that I can fill this boat up again with them. 54 crab. That's a good haul again. And you said that my driving in this was bad. Come on, this, this is skillful driving, right? I must prove Juice wrong that my driving in this boat is amazing. I am like the, the Hamilton of fishing boats. I, I might get a new crashes into everything. For going to say that I, I did have a, a pretty bad crash I, the other day. I, I didn't record it, which is really unfortunate. But uh, I got a screenshot of it, and it's now become the thumbnail for this series. Uh, I was literally just driving along, like a normal person, like minding my own business, and all of a sudden, another boat comes out of nowhere and slams right into the front of me. Well, I T-boned him. Um, like, I was fine, the boat survived, I had to spend a bit of money to fix it, yes, but the boat survived, but that boat, he went tits up, he, he, and he ended up, up, oh, I just tooled up, absolutely tool. see, I'm not concentrating, and the boat ended upside down, I felt kind of bad on them, but, oh, I can't believe I just threw that Crab that. Why did I do that? Oh right. Last crab pot. Let's get this done so we can go and get a trawler. Come on. Last one. Sorry, so yeah, I kind of destroyed another boat. I, I didn't do it on purpose though. He kind of came out of nowhere and, and, and jumped into me. 
It's his, it's, it's his fault. There we go. So, how's everyone speaking? Come on, bring me, bring me up to speed, guys. What's everyone been up to? Everyone had a good day? Had a nice evening? Anything fun happen? Oh, I just threw another one away. Right, you can see that I'm rushing now, can't you? Then a couple more. And now from two decent crabs back. Wicked. That's all done. Right, wicked. Right. So, as you can see, I've also done a lot of exploring, just cutting through places, just to have a look at what's around, and just to see what's what, really. Right. But now we need to go. Down. I'm going a quick travel just so we can spend more time playing in our trawler. So let's get this bad boy in. We're going to go in here. So we just be traveling through. There we go. Right, okay, so let's do this. Right, let's have a look at which boat we're gonna go for first. Which trawler are we gonna buy? Come on. There we go. Wicker. Right, so trawler, trawler down the bottom, isn't it? Right, there's the lunar bow. That's quite a sexy boat as well, isn't it? And that's one of the trawlers. There we go. It's a a pele, pelagic, a pelagic trawler. Never heard of that before, and that's why I was so lost and confused. Now that has got a, a top speed of 19 knots and got a two million kilogram quota per year, but you can only get mackerel and pollock with that. And that's the Luna. And then the other one is the Hermes. And that is a bottom trawler. Now this can get a bit of everything. Except it's primarily built for cod by the looks of it. Got a maximum speed of 12 knots. Yeah, the quota is a huge difference, aren't they? And a total quota. So this one's got like 1.2 million kilogram less quota. Per year, that is a lot smaller, but a lot more expensive. I don't understand. Is it more expensive because you can get different types of fish? What well, I don't understand why it's more expensive when it's actually not as good as that. I, I'm kind of confused. But I think this is the one that everyone was saying is the best one, isn't it? The Luna. Yeah, I'm not 100%. So, which one are we going for? Are we going to the Luna or the Hermes? I think people said to get the Luna, didn't they? It does look cool. It looks like a sexy boat, doesn't it? That is a pretty sexy boat. So, we're going for the Luna, right? So that is going to cost me 15 million, right? So let's go to my bank. And we can get 25 million. Okay, that'll push me up to 30. That should be able to get me and kit it all out as well. So we're going to go for 12. Well, before I do this though, that's that's play smart I'm just gonna save it now at the farmers dynasty I've got into a habit of of having like four or five saves um, 
it's kind of maybe bad but I, do you know when you just get into the habit of it there we go wicked okay so bank go to the banker we're gonna take out a 25 million loan yes there we go we've now got 30 mil so now we're gonna buy the Luna I'm really scared about driving this boat uh, I wonder how many things I'm going to crash into. So, Mr. Luna, congratulations on unlocking and purchasing your first trawler. Luna boasts stores fresh fish in large tanks in the hole. You are not able to gut, freeze, or stack these fish, and they're sold by pumping them directly from the tanks when docking at port. You need at least four crew members to operate. Thank you very much. The trawler machinery on the ship. Note the trawler doors need to be lowered to a depth of 50 meters or more to catch fish. Okay. Uh, would you like in order to learn how the trawler mechanic works? Uh, I'm going to say no for now. Let's just go and figure it out. Uh, right. Dock. Uh, night, Dave. Cheers for dropping in, mate. So, radar level 4, that's got to happen. Oh, we've got to buy all of them first, so let's get that, let's get that. Radar's definitely on the top of the list. I don't want to do storage yet. Wow, that's expensive to upgrade that. Allows you to see distance between trawl doors. Yeah, okay, I'll have that. Uh, indicates the nut, nut is... Oh, right, okay, I need to buy all them, don't I? Trawler eye detects the rate of fish mass entering the mat. Yeah, okay. Is that everything I can get? So we still got 14 million, so I could go and buy... Wicked. Right, okay, so now that's... No, I don't have to buy any. Current boat doesn't support... Okay. So I don't have to buy anything there. So as that is all that, I'm going to go... I may as well do it, because I got the cash. So I think we have now got a fully equipped... Yeah, that's all done. And now I'm gonna go scare myself. It's full of fuel, yeah. But I need to buy some crew. Uh, have we got any low level? Yes, there's one. Yes. He's a one three, so we'll have him. And we're gonna have. I want one decent guy at least, so I might get him as well, just so I've got one decent guy. So how many boys? One, two, three, four. They like said I need a minimum of four, didn't they? So there we go, we've got four guys. There, I think, have they? Yeah, one, two, three. Four. Four. That's all I needed, didn't it? Right. Let's have a look. Wow. Oh, I've even got a little captain suit now. I'm going to have a quick look. Yes. I'm definitely going to get lost with this boat. What's this for? Oh, that's just for luck. So that must be for my trawling when I'm trawling. 
You can see the maiden, okay? So that's that. What else is around here? Sorry guys, I just be a nosy and have a look. This boat is amazing though. Ooh, what's that? Go downstairs. Open door. This must be the crew cabin. Oh, we can't open doors. What's this? I just... Oh. Ah, that's because it's letting me close the door. Are these all crew cabins? Oh, no, this is back on. Oh, look at this. I've even got a little sofa in the bridge room. Okay. I'm going to have a quick look outside. Now, I'd be a nosy. I haven't looked at this before. Can I... I've seen these boats on the water, so I was hoping I, you could launch one and, and go for a little spin in a rib. Wow, this is actually quite impressive. Ah, oh, I can't go downstairs though, okay. I'm stuck up here. Right, so that's pretty much a tour around the place, can't go downstairs, so... Like right that though. I gotta say that, that's pretty impressive. Right. Oh, hang on. How did you side thrust this? There's side thrusters in this, isn't there? So how do you do that? Okay. Yes, that is. Oh, that is quality. Okay, sorry guys. I'm, I'm like having like amazing this is cool maybe I should keep the side thrust design to pull me out of port oh man this is gonna be a disaster isn't it oh my god I'm gonna crash instantly come on pull me out Get me out of port. No. No, hopefully that's enough. So on the PlayStation it's the L1 and R1 that activate the the uh, the side thrusters. And now let's go out for a little spin and see how we get on. But this is definitely a beautiful little boat. A cracking boat. I feel like I want to give it a little bit of a drive. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna... I'm gonna take it out of port and then we'll have a drive of it when it's in open water, I think. I'll have a little drive of it at some point. Right, look at that, she proper leans when you're going for that steering, that is pretty, pretty... Nah, that's going to make you seasick, isn't it? Right, come on in, let's go and have a look. We're going to quick travel there, let's get up there. We've got four workers, so the the and the start fast travel. So on fast travel, it's got a speed of twenty-two point R. Okay. Top of corner. He's a bit bigger than me, so I don't really want to pick a fight with him. It's a propane boat, isn't it?
Like, and I thought my boat was big, and now that is like ten times the size. Come on, then. let me finish that one. Am I going the right way? Yeah. So start. Uh, remove. There we go. Start placing. Let's do. Try again. Do. 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 There we go. Oh man, I'm gonna make such a fool of myself with this now. Okay, we are now crossing into open sea. Now, let's figure out how this works. Right, I'm going to drop the speed down. I'm assuming that's what you have to do. So let's bring the speed down to there. Is that going to take me down five knots? No, it's still dropping. Why are you still dropping? Right, I think I... Right. Uh, I'm going to assume that my speed is okay there. Yeah, okay, jump in here. Alright, and we need to set our workers first, don't we? So crew, set trawler, right. Dish, dish, dish. So we're going to put all of them on sat trawler. I'm assuming it needs all of them. There we go. So guys, that done. I hate that. There we go. Wicked. So now I'm hoping. I can now. So that's worked this out. That's not an open water. I am in open water. I'm sure I'm in open water. Oh, they still got fishing zones in the open water. So we're gonna head over to that. We're gonna go to that. So yeah, I thought the green side was open water. But oh well, we're going to head to this. Alright, let's drop our speed down. To about there. We're coming into the zone, so... Not an open water. Manage crew. Not in open water. I'm pretty sure I'm in open water. Not in open water. Oh, maybe it's because I'm not far enough in. Okay, right. So I need to go right in there as far as possible. I do apologize, guys. I have not done this before. This is totally like... <laughs> alien now so what I'm assuming is happening is because I'm not far enough inside because I'm not far enough inside the area it won't let me do it so I'm hoping that's the case so I will drive them through let's just admire this boat a little bit how cool is that such a beautiful boat I like was seeing it in the day Right, are you going to let me do it now? Still not an open water. Right, let's manage the crew quickly. Right, 
and send them back to bed until we're in open water. Oh, I really like this boat. Woohoo, big boat! I think that actually warrants a, a nice screenshot. There you go. Okay. So, how do you... They, they're not telling you when you're in open water. But I must be in open water, because... I am. Um, Right, we're smack in the middle of that now. So, let's figure it out. They say I'm not in open water still. Why is it saying not in open water? I'm definitely in open water. The, uh, the turbine sonar. So now, cycle display, um, it doesn't say anything about that, is there anything on here, storage, that's already on, ooh, look at my little knife there, that's pretty cool, is that in case someone comes There's that. Like everything's switched on. That's where I show you the primary scheme. Okay. Add measurement. Um, Okay, right, yeah, alright, so that's all set up. I'm still saying not an open wall. Why are you not going? Oh man, I should have done the tutorial really, shouldn't I? I really should have done. Da, 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 da. I should have really done the tutorial. Not an open water. Why are you saying not an open water? I'm definitely in open water. This big green thing here is, is massive open water. So why are you claiming I am not in open water? Drive. Uh, skipping tutorial is never a good idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in that trust. <laughs> so I don't need help. Uh, maybe I should have done this before I came on live stream, but what's over here? Like I'm definitely in open water though. So why are you saying I am not in open water? It, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Do you do you guys get my what I'm doing? Because I it doesn't. It's saying just saying not in open water. That's what I'm getting. I won't even let me do it. But it'll tell you when you cross the line. Well, how far across the line do I have to be? Alright, let's just go for a little... A little... Keep going forward for a bit then.
No, thank you, John. You've just kind of saved me there, mate. Like, I would have been stuck there being like, Oh, I can't do anything. But hopefully now, it will come up with... Oh, you have to be right out in it, do you? Because it doesn't look... Oh, big end again. Alright, okay, we'll just pop out more again. Because I thought the line would have been just on the edge of that green circle, but... Duh. So this is what I meant about me making a fool of myself, because that, of course, I haven't done it again. He passed the big boat, yeah. The big boat was miles away. The boat, big boat was all the way down there. But we'll keep going. I don't know how far it went to me in. I haven't seen any big boats out here. I'm literally just driving straight into the center of it. Let's go hit the center of it. That will put right in the center now. So surely now it says we're still not in it. Wow, okay. But I'm pretty sure this green thing is like open water, isn't it? Oh man, I might have to just sat this off and do a tutorial. <laughs> Go up. Oh, you mean that big oil tank, that big oil rig up ahead there? the distance so that's pretty cool isn't it they've got all rigs out there as well hey it's it's just when they say that you've got to be amazed by James King grabbed the card or something. Ah, yes, there we go. I didn't do that, did I? There we go. I changed to all species. Ah, that's quite an impressive rig. Is that show up on my map? Well, it is. No, it doesn't. open water still but that is impressive even from a distance the detail on that oil rig is, is pretty impressive but they want to shout at me for going too close No, it's not doing anything still. Still saying not an open water.
because I assumed once you just come into the open water it will just work but Clearly not. There we go, you can see that all rig properly now. That's pretty epic. I forgot to get insurance on this. <laughs> Whoops. Just don't crash. That is pretty impressive. Oh man, I do apologise folks, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I'm coming up to the the far northern end of the stuff. Uh, of this so-called open water and I'm still getting not in open water. No, the, the green circle is open water, what they're classing as open water in the game. Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure there's an option at the bottom right. Oh, oh my god, after all that, after all that, tracks you lads, I did not see that, okay, that is proper random, so it's saying X to go to open water, Oh my days, after all of that. Okay, with it, it looks like we are now in open water. So, let's have a look in our map. Right, we've got a bit of thing there. So what, I think we're just on the edge of a zone there. So I'm gonna flip it, try and spin it 90 degrees. And that's give this troll in a go. Trax, you are an absolute superstar mate, thank you so much for pointing that out. <laughs> like something as simple as that, right? Right, okay, so we are now in open water after about <laughs> half hour of driving around scratching my head. Let's get around a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, so we're heading into that. I think that's about right. Tad more just past the sun. There you go, wicked. Okay, so I think we're going at a decent speed. So now let's get our crew out on to the to set the troll. Set the troll. Set the troll. Set the troll. Wicked. So we give them a couple of seconds. Now it's saying I'm not in open water again. Ah, uh, this is go to open water. Why is it doing that? We turn the port. Okay, so now it is the currently not trawling. I think I've got to push something. Set trawl on that. There you go. Right, now what? 
so now they've got to be set to about 50 meters haven't they they're both in forward drive so we've got to let them go out 50 meters at least 50 meters Make a note in case Juice does us. <laughs> he could be. Oh, that's the length of meters. Now, da, 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 da. I'll try and figure this out now. Fifty. So that's fixed. Uh, let's have a look. So starboard one's fine. So that's lock that one off. And the port, I'm going to keep it going out. Keep that one going out. I'm going to try and get him so he's green as well. It needs to be green. So let's keep that going out. Try and get him in there. But he's red at the minute. So I need to figure out how to get him. I think he's gone in the fish zone. Yeah. Now I want to have a look at this because I yeah, look at that. That's pretty epic. Uh, and that's probably why I want my speed going and let's draw them in. And hopefully we'll get some fish. Now that one says it's doing fine. But that one looks like I know, it's cool isn't it? You've got to admit, that is pretty damn cool. Now, I think this one needs to go out a bit. Oh, that's coming in. I don't want it to come in. Out. I'm going to try and drop him into that little zone there. We want this one to go up a bit further. We want to try and get him to about 50. We can get him down to 50. This is going to take a lot of getting used to. <laughs> Numbers need to match. So we'll let that go out then until it gets to the same then. Da, 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 da. Okay. Nine. How are you in screw out with you? How are you arranging screw out with Matt and buttons like yours? Uh, if you put your cursor on the screen, there's like a little option at the bottom of my screen that's saying customize. Oh, and you can just customize it that. Uh, uh. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. 
then yeah, and then you can just customize it how you want. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, that's about right, there we go, we're both from about the same now. Oh, we're getting fish! That little green thing's going up. We're getting fish! Sorry, that's kind of... Is, is, is that all I have to do? I have... Press again, how do I get them over to like the fish zones? Drive to the blobs. Uh, I can't get a map view up, so I'm kind of... Right, okay, I think I got what you mean. This is going to be a lot of effort. Okay, come on. This is definitely extremely difficult driving. I'm going to try and get them on that big blob of fish there. That looks about right. As that, that should hopefully be smack bang in the center of them. Just, I'm gonna find out in a second now that this is like a, an iceberg or something. Ah, huh, it didn't look like I caught many more fish though. didn't say it was easy. Oh no, I, I wasn't expecting it to be easy. Mate, I, I suppose once you get the hang of it... Oh wow, that was a massive jump up. I, I suppose once you get the hang of it, it doesn't go too bad and you, you just kind of fall into everything becoming a lot easier. But of course when you haven't done it before and you've decided you've done the stupid mistake of of skipping tutorials then uh that height um I think that that isn't it where do you find it is that the depth? Yeah, depth 3. So I'm at 104. Might have to go deeper. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way, am I? How do you do that? Drawing that needs to be within 25 meters of the ship. Does that mean it's not within 25 meters of the ship? Come on, baby. Keep turning. Get me around to those. Get me around to them. Oh. I've stopped moving. I was like that, I was like, why, why am I not going? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm such a fool. Come on. Come on, babies, get over. Let's leave them there, let's see if they spin in. Oh, they're pulling round into it. 
We've got one of them in there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? So basically I'm trying to keep these two squares amongst all the fish which are the different tones on the sonar scanner here. But of course these things are constantly changing but I need to figure out how to get my net deeper but I don't know how to get my net deeper. Do I do that by letting them out? Sorry guys, I'm Hopefully they'll dive deeper. Now they've gone higher up, does that mean that they're too far out? Should I be going the other way? And <laughs> you've never played that. They're not like they're going higher up, so I suppose I means I'm going the wrong way. So let's see if I pull them back that way. See what happens. See if they dive now. You want the squares to go down, down, baby. Click the purple screen. So that's what it's bringing up. But now this one's coming up way too quick compared to that one. Come on, baby. I'm not doing very well with it. But I've got some fish. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and pull around to this massive spot that's coming up on my screen. Because I'm hoping that means it gets a lot of fish. I think we got lucky with it last time. I'm going to let this one out a bit. Let's try and get them back together. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, they're dropping. They're both diving. The speed might be pulling the net up a bit. What speed am I running at? Let's drop down to about there. should be going out. Yeah, that one's going out. That one's still coming in. Let's lock that one off there. Lock them at 30. We'll wait till they both get 30. So this is a massive learning curve. Uh, I've dropped down to four and a half knots, so hopefully now that red one is really homing in on that square, that's on that little batch of fish there, so it must have been the speed. That one's gone way far enough now. I want to push this one out a bit more.
Like, this is really complicated and actually pretty damn difficult to figure out. Like, so I appreciate everyone just spending a bit of time with me and, and, and giving me ideas and, and things like that to try and figure it out. It's just going to take time running the net. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just got oh, that there even now. So let's stop that one. And let's just try and find some fish. So what speed am I at? I'm still at, well, I'm at five knots. Now the green line has, has dropped into, so green is my left line, red is my right. So let's just pull through the rest. So hang on, green is my left line. So if I bear more to the left, Hopefully that's going to bring those fish, those lines in. Oh, I lost some fish there. I'm losing fish. I've got an apple with that. Let's just hold that course and see what happens. You see the green, like, I'm looking at this and it's, it's started to drop a little bit. But now it's steadying out a bit. So my starboard door is looking good. So let's just pull through it and let's see if we, if we can get 10%. I'm happy. Oh, what am I doing? Let's just stay on this screen for a bit and see what we can dig out. So, yeah, that's Oh, they're both dropping in nicely, actually. I could maybe drop out my port door just a little bit. Port is right. Hopefully then that will drop into that. There, so now that's in one and that's in one as well. the wrong things here there we go what speed am i running at three knots but i love that i've got to give it to it that, that is pretty impressive with all the birds and stuff like that isn't it right pretty impressive right let's manage my crew Give them a little bit of a rest. I'm just going to trawl around for a little bit. I want to try and get this up more. Come on, baby. I don't have to let more line out. This is like, I'd be happy if I could pull out of here with like 10% and then at least I know that I got a little bit of understanding and knowledge to it. But this is proper. If I turn slightly, will it? How much to the bottom of the sea? So that shows me the depth to the bottom, which is 795, and this shows you my trawling depth. 
which is at 107. Only terminal speed and track in that. So yeah, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But we're, we're getting the fish. It is going up. You can see there that we're, we're close up to 10% now. So I think I'm going to leave them as they are. Because they're doing all right. And we're getting some fish. It's just actually taking quite a lot of time. We'll maintain the speed and head in. Just keep an eye on these. So green is left, so maybe drop the left line just a little bit. See if we can keep that, there we go. It's dropping out a bit more. 50. If I try and keep that at least at 50, I'm watching a 60 inch screen. Nice. I'm going to bring this one in a bit. Oh, there we go. Look, we're going up. Look at that. I'm going to bring that one into there. Something's just clipped right there because now our fish, our catch is flying up. Just coming up to 20% now. So that's good. We're getting the hang of it. So we're running up. And we're looking good. If you lower it further, does it make any difference? So let's have a look. So where are we at? Uh, my green is left, so green, let's put that one out a bit more. Let's put him out. And let's see where he ends up. And that's within level, isn't that good? Well, I'm guessing not actually, because then you. So let's leave them at that. We still haven't quite reached that 20% yet. What speed are we at? We're at 2.7 knots. I still love those birds. That birds are amazing. We must have just hit a really good fish part spot. Oh, we're losing height there. Eh? Go back down, go back down. Good boy. No, go back down. There we go. My right line is in a nice load of fish. My left line seems to be... My port door is lovely. My port door is right in there. And there we go, he's shooting up now. He's in a good load of fish. Keep it going, baby. Yeah. Keep pulling them in. Come on. That looked like a good hole there. Eh? Oh, on that port side. Still running at two knots. 
Okay, so we're kind of starting to get the hang of it now. So basically what we need to do, we need to just keep an eye on the line. Make sure the lines, we're not going too fast firstly. So right, at the minute we're doing two knots. The lines I'm running at, basically the further out the line goes, the lower down the line goes. Right, going deeper. Yeah, it's, it must be from the weight of a fish maybe, because he is still going deeper, isn't he? So that is right, I've got nothing going on now with that. So maybe let's drop that one out a bit more. Just remember, you always hold your port in the right hand, and port is always red. Port is red, so red is port. And green is always on your left, so that's your starboard. Ah, oh, look at that! My starboard net is lovely now. Looking good. My nuts are about even. I'm at port. That's it, we're looking good. And there it goes, he's filling up. You see it slowly going through to that 60%. Keep pumping it, baby. Keep pumping it. Ah, oh, he's right in the heart of it now. And they're about even, so hopefully that's about right. Both going up and down at different paces. We might make it, boss. Yeah, man, we, we might just do it. Let's double check our speed. Oh, we're not really moving. So let's put a bit more speed in there to make sure we keep... It must be the weight of a fish now. So let's not go too fast. Four knots should be fine. Lower port. Uh, port is going to be my right, isn't it? Lower that one a bit more. But at the same time, look, we're kind of right on a mint of it here. Yeah. At. I think I might be going too fast now. Three knots, let's drop it down just a little bit. Just below three, yeah, that, that should be fine. What's going on here now then? Looks like we're going through a bit of a dry patch. Oh, right, okay, so now, I don't like when it's going red, so what we're going to do, oh, let's keep it up, actually. Let's not do anything stupid. And we're going to put some people... Ah, come on. Move him into our pool. Let's pull that up now before we get... I don't like it being in red. So let's bring all these into hall and let's see what we're looking like. So, 
Now we're going to bring them in. Start bringing them in. So they got to be within 25 meters before we can haul. So let's bring them in. We're only just moving, so that's fine. It should be pretty straightforward to bring them in now. Well, I'm quite excited about this. Oh, there we go. So this one here is telling me how far out they are. So at the minute they're at 160 meters away from the boat. I think. And that's the deck maybe. How you check your map and open see where the fish you can't um like I've been trying to put my map on now again to see where it is but I think once you go into this mode you're literally running everything off your sonar and you've just got to go with it. So I pull that's my left one. My left one's gonna reach me first. So yeah, you, you can't check your map in it. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's because when you're in open sea, you get really nothing that you can hit. But just show you again, look at all those, look at that. How incredible is that? Right, look, it brings all the birds in and stuff. I really find that really amazing. Right, so my left side is now at 25. So that's, leave that there a minute. I'm going to keep bringing the second line in until they are both about even. Twenty-five and four, twenty-three. Now make sure I've still got some speed going forward. Yeah. And that. Four, twenty-three. There we go. Bring them both in. Sure, that needs to be within that. So we've got to wait for this to get the twenty-five before we can haul them in. stops now so now what happens if I I'll bring them in no nope. okay so I need to bring them in more get in position Let's get in position. What's that? What do you mean get in position? Ah, there we go. Yeah, baby. That is not a bad haul. And that's pumping our fish.
And there we go. 59,000... 59,500 kilograms of mackerel and 75,000 kilograms of pollock. Okay. So now what? Why is, why, where are they all going? So storage, fish. Have a look at quota. I'm really confused on that now. Does that mean now that I didn't mess up on something and I lose it all, did I? Oh wow, we're not even full. Okay, cool. I got really stressed then. Uh, hi, David. Uh, yes, we're, we're now going to have a pool on that thing. Oh, no, that's the storage, mate. So we've got enough. We could go again, I think. We've, According to my boat, we've got enough. So what I've done is just go and have a look at the weight, and I'll show you. So this here is saying that... I've still got 300. Oh, I have no freezer, so I've got eight days. So that's. I tell you what, that's that's return to port. And let's take these down. There we go. I sent you my help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please do. Good save. Epic save, mate. Uh, all of you, a massive, massive help. I'm going to take them back to the same port that I always go to, because... Let's go in there. Uh, uh, you've all been a massive, massive save on me, so... So thank you so much everybody, that's, that's like epic. We can now go trawling and kind of know what we're doing now. I'd say kind of like, I got too tired to work. I forgot about my workers, whoops. <laughs> forgot, forgot, forgot was smooth. Um, right, let's put our workers to bed. Sorry workers. I'm a bad, I'm a bad captain. Whoops. Right, okay. There you go. The, the, stop. Fast travel again. And now this is where things are really gonna go, Peter. Because now I gotta try and maneuver around. I wanna get. Are you gonna turn? How good's your turning circle? Chat turnies. Oh, what you you have checked it? Like when we were looking at them, we we were contemplating which like I was chatting to a load of people in here and that talking about if you run closer to the. Open map. It will open some. Oh yeah, I still got loads of a map I need to need to explore. Right, this is all I've opened so far. I've literally been kind of cruising through and, and just like I must get I wanted to get like the trawler and the crabbing boats as quickly as I can. Now we've got the we've only got the small crabbing boat, but we've got a crabbing boat. Try and get this one. Oh, it won't open it. I've, we tried it. Um, it. It won't open anything. If you run on quick travel, 
to open the map you actually have to physically be driving the boat which kind of fair it's it's a, it's a bit of a pain in the backside but it, in some respects it's, it's understandable otherwise people would just do that all the time wouldn't they they were just fast traveling unlock the home map I don't know whether it allows you to do that on PC, but unfortunately it's not something that we have access to on console. No, well, this is the first fishing game I've ever played. I've never done any form of fishing games or anything like that. Like, oh, sound the horn, good shout. I thought it would sound a bit more meatier than that, but... Come on, you, you got to give me some credit here. This, this is quite a bit of skill diving going on here. What is that? Is that a three million pound haul? That is a three million pound haul, isn't it? Wow. Everyone's staff in port now. <laughs> Hang on, I, so I'm on seven. Uh, I, whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, that was not me. Oh, God damn. That was me saying that my driving skills are pretty impressive and then... I get yanked into a warm. Right, I'm gonna go repair this, refuel it. May as well keep everything. So that was a just that was like two million pound haul that was. I love how the boat proper leans. Come on, get around, get around. I need to fix this boat up now. After that damage, suck. Yeah, it kind of does it all the time. I should have really thought about it when I press go fishing. Because if you. Is that boat sunk? No. I wonder what happens if I hit another boat. Like that little boat. I wonder if it would like squash it. Maybe another try this time. All in. Yeah, good. definitely going to do another one. Um, I'm going to... I want to buy insurance. <laughs> <laughs> for, for general purposes because um, I forgot that and the last one being an absolute tool but what I'll do I'll get into port now we'll fix the boat refuel it quick drive up there and now that we know how to get into the open water we should be 
Ah, oh, shoot, this is not going to go well. Whew. Whoops. Right. That's costing me a lot of money at first. That cost me one million pounds to fix that. Wow, that was an expensive fix. So, let's see what we got. Cooking. They're both pretty shocking at cooking. They take quite a big rate, so. I'm not cool on them. Yeah, it just cost me a million quid to fix that boat up. Let's get the boat away from port. I love this side point. And what I'm going to do now is why I am... I'm going to put him as a cook. The misery path. There we go. They could they can improve on their skills. Do it. Right, we're out, I guess. So now that's let's get out of here. Right, back up to Let's go back to a wa open water. Oh yeah, I know. It's just I don't know. I'm so used to seeing pound and quid yeah, I am definitely poor now right right you've made me feel quite like thinking of it as pound I thought yeah I'm 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 loaded but but actually I'm I'm skint right so let's work this out then let's see if we can get this going right this time So we're going at a speed of 2.3 knots. Brilliant. Oh, oh no, I, I've had workers busting their ass off on the thing. Oh, what am I doing? I could set them on air, can't I? On the phone. Do it. on that and then put the boat on out so that's that so remember red is right left green is left and there we go the birds are starting to accumulate so let's get these nets out baby chop my speed three knots 
That should be fine. We're gonna get these bad boys out. I think I'm gonna keep up a three knots this time if I can. And they're dropping in quite nicely actually, aren't they? Excuse me one sec, I'm just going to mute my mic a second, folks. Like, I'm wondering if we should try and do two... No, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do one more with you guys, and then uh, I'm probably going to call it a night. Because my brain is fried from from all of this. I'm going to stop them there a minute because they're quite nicely in the in that zone, aren't they? So I'm going to leave them there, and hopefully we'll pick up some fish in this. Oh, it didn't show us picking us up any fish. Maybe I messed that up. Got them going back out again. Duh. I know last time we had them out around 70, 80, wasn't it? Oh, look at that, we got 10% quite quicker. So I think we're getting used to this trawler now. I think I got it. We got it. Like it's all thanks to you guys. You guys have been absolutely superb. Thank you so much for your help. Go on, get out. Make sure I still got my speed up. Yeah, three knots. And while I'm in the screen now, I want to. Ah, uh, I can set my workers here now, can't I? Manage crew. No way! Ah, oh, nicely done, Star. Congratulations, that is a massive achievement. You now have to, don't have to worry about getting grinding <laughs> on Farmer's Dynasty. That's absolutely amazing. Well done. That's a real, real massive grind, Star. So, congrats, man. That, that's huge. Absolutely huge. Ah, oh, yes, you can have a tour. Let's just give a tour of the boat quickly. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's stop my lines first. So that's where you control the lines. And then round here. You've got your main captain's deck where you do all your driving and then they've given you like a little sitting area, sofa, where you can sit down and then downstairs you've got like the cruise cabins. Oh, I can get onto the work deck. Amazing. Where's the head? Priorities though. That is so cool. Right, I've just left the boat. <laughs> right, can I climb up here? No, we can't climb up. Oh, that was amazing. I did not realise you could go down all this. Hang on, I need to... Three knots. Let's go check out our rigs again quickly. Because <laughs> we kind of just left them. Right. Go to roof cabin. You can go to the roof as well. 
are we looking here? They're both fine, aren't they? They're both equal, yeah. Right, I need to, there must be another door going. My okay. god. I've already been out there. Let's go down. Do I have to go down to go up? So, what we got? Go to bridge. Open door. Go to engine room. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. And listen to her, she's purring. So this is the engine room. Go to work deck. And then you got, ah, oh, this looks like my cabin. Be, oh no, that must be like a social room. There's the crew quarters. There's the bridge. What's in there? Oh, a medic bay. Go to the bridge. Check everything. We're still doing three knots. We haven't caught any more fish yet, though. Uh, I might drop a line. Uh, I might drop my right line a little bit. Let's try and get that in that little zone there. Hopefully, uh, drop him down. Well, I wonder if lowering my speed a little bit will drop them down too. Yeah, I want to go and have a look at the roof. I just got, yeah, there we go. So go out the door. Go around here. No, we can't get around there. Throw a ladder. There is no ladder here. Is there another door on the other side or something? No. No, there's no way up to get any higher according to this. Unless I'm missing something. Go around. I can't go around. I'd... Oh, there we go. Can I deploy an emergency thing? No. So it will let me round that, so why wouldn't it let me round the other way? It won't let me round here. Right, it's just stopping me, I physically can't go any further. That is actually all I can go. And there is no ladder around here. To be able to go up or down or, or anything. That's what you I can do. That sucks. Look at the roof for a door on the roof. That looks like a door there, didn't it, on the back of the Hatch 
on the roof or something. From the inside. Yeah, uh, it doesn't appear to be anything, does that? Oh wow, we've got a lot more fish though. I'll just leave it rolling. Because we checked all of the doors downstairs and the only door in this cabin takes me downstairs. There's no door that takes me up to the ceiling. So, open door. With that open door. That's the mallet bay. That takes me to the bridge. Open door. Back water. Engine room. Maybe go out on the work deck. Oh, I can't get around there. Let's run around this way. Nope, I won't want me to get there. Let's see if I got up that ladder. Yeah, I could get up on the roof. Nope, nothing around here. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Right? But no, there's literally no way for me to get up on the roof. That's right. Oh, I can't jump overboard either. I don't know why I would want to jump overboard, but you can't. <laughs> We're doing good. Uh, port line could probably go out a bit. Or would in be make it? I wonder if in makes it go lower actually, because out is just going to give it more. Hey, it's it is a, a very pretty game actually. It's. my port side to drop so I assumed that by bringing it in it might make it thin but clearly not I wonder if I reduce speed a little bit will it drop then now I need to try and figure out how to make the lines go lower Because naturally, I would feel like if the lines went out further, they might drop. But that doesn't seem to be the case that we are experiencing. But then, hang on, that's going down now. Now it's coming back up. It must be. No, it's going down. Maybe let's pull out. It's going out, isn't they? Yeah, let's bring this line out. Get them both out, see if we can get them to both go down. Nope, they're going up again now. Want them to drop? No, okay. Put more speed. No, they're coming up to the surface because I'm going faster. Because it's natural, isn't it? It's going up. Oh, hang on. No, they're coming up. So, let's drop the speed. And there we go, they're going down. I 
no, I'm not moving. <laughs> I, I kind of need to move. Come on. It's just really quite. It's quite difficult. Like we could, we figured out like naturally if I go left and right, then the nets are gonna move across the screen. But so the only thing I need to try and figure out is getting them to go deeper, which is is the hard bit. So that's something I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on. They're dropping now. You can see they're dropping now. Two or three, two or four, two or five. So they're going down now. Fifteen. Not a ski boat. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of the drop right down now, and there we go. He, that that port side has gone lovely into that that array of fish. If you don't know what I'm looking at, I'm looking at this screen here because you've got two squares. The, t the squares represent where the nets are. Uh, we've got the port, which is our right net, and our starboard, which is the green, which is on our left net. And basically, the little different colours in the sonar represent the fish. And you want to try and get each box inside the fish area. And then that's when you start to accumulate the fish, which shows up here. Here you've got the depth, the, the length, the depth of meters, I think, on my port one, which is my right. Um, my starboard which is my left or a green one that is the depth of the seabed and then that is the I'm not sure I haven't quite figured out what that one is yet the length so that's how much line is out So now our job is essentially just to make sure the boat maintains a decent speed and then we've got to try and keep these up. You've got door angles. No, I haven't. Isn't starboard right and port left? Oh, I don't know. Uh-oh, whoops. Press the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, starboard is right, poor is left. My bad. I've been doing that backwards all, all along. <laughs> oh, can you tell I'm not a war baby? <laughs> um, I haven't seen ad. There's a joystick to move the net around. So these joysticks... Damn, confuse me more. Sorry, port left. Port left. Starboard right. My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to confuse you. I'm just having... No, I apologise. But port is left. Oh, brilliant. That. <laughs> Sorry. Right, that line's gone way out. My port line is out, so I'm going to bring it in. But it kind of makes sense, because this is the back of a boat, so that would be the left side of the boat from the front. So that would make that port, and that would that make that right. 
<laughs> like, like I said to you guys, when we started, this, this is a moment where you guys just get to see me make a complete utter fool of myself because I'm really having a unique... There you go, wicked. Yeah, I'm just having a, a unique, you very unique. Yeah, a, a unique time. But, I got it now, okay. Support that, dab it right. So you hold your port on your left hand. Right, okay. <laughs> So how are we looking here? Right, we're at the 40... 60%. Well, 45%-ish. I'm not sure. But we need to figure out... Red and green. Red and green. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with red and green. Alright, we'll, we'll stick with red and green. So the red one... We need to drop a little bit. Well, I'm going to see what happens if I put line out on the port, on the green, red side. There isn't. Right, let's, let, I'll show you what measurements we've got an option of. So, catch. According, I want to put that in. Ah, oh, we've already got it in. Okay, but that can stay there anyway. Uh, remove measurement. Let's remove that now then. And that add measurement. Uh, distance from the door. This is something new. I don't. Oh no, we've got two sonars on the go now. <laughs> Remove measurement. That one. So what's that showing, man? Does this show like the angle that I'm running at? So is that saying I should... Uh, I need to figure out what this one is now, because obviously this one must be something important, otherwise it wouldn't have it. Does this mean I need to move... That I need to move... That way a little bit. Happens if I bring it around. No, that doesn't mean that I need to turn it. That's probably me messing up now. Ah, there we go. There was a movement of one of the numbers. Door angle on your neck. Uh, add. Du, 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 Playing and dive. Is that on here? Is that where I'm meant to be looking? I do want that on there, go. I'm gonna put that over there. Ah, Huh. 
what's on there now. Just trying to work this out. Check the manual about bottom trauma. Is there any info on the screen? About, uh, the, that's category fish, fish bait, fishing tools, trawling. You know, I like the fish with it, of shoreline. To use trawlers need to sell market or the handle. There we go. That's what we're using, isn't it? Uh, lights changing. Lights changing. It doesn't really give you much. Back where we are, is set the joysticks and increase and decrease the length of the wire for each trawl. Allowing you to position the trawl bag to squeeze the fish you want to catch. Press the set trawl button on the clock deck. Use the forward sonar on the screens in front of you and adjust the warp length and the trawl doors until you are at the same depth as the school of fish. Well, both trawls down to 50 meter between the both trawl doors. This is a different type, isn't it? Oh, that's why I'm on the wrong bloody one. Uh, that one, isn't it? Payload drawing. So, in the truck, you also need to go and see that, okay. Press the start trawl, yeah. Use the forward on your front of you to, 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 to you at the same depth for the school. Lower well, both trawler doors down to 50 meters or make sure the schools are fish between both of the trawler doors. Make sure both trawler doors are aligned. Right, so that's something that I haven't done yet, is it? Oh wow. But then they're both even near enough put. This could be my left side, so that's going to be that one. And that needs to go out more, or I could bring this one in to be fair. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That one. There we go, let's bring them both in to the same. Chat scanner system software. I get these both the same quickly, and then two, one, that hopefully about right. Yeah, there we go. So. Make sure I've got some speed going forward again. There we go, let's go back onto this. Pallet trawling. The lights change when the trawl bag is red, trawl bag is not set. Oh, make sure both the trawlers are aligned. Lights change when the trawl bag is in motion. The whole trawl bag is saying 
I used to forward the instrument to adjust the right lamp and do one to you at the same time. So we pretty much Sorry, I'm just reading. There's, there's kind of nothing really else on there. It's just saying that to make sure that they're both in the same line. So red needs to go out a bit. Ah, it's out. It's max, is it? So that means this one's going to have to come in a bit. Bring them back in line. I've done it the wrong way. But I'm getting myself confused now. There we go. So we're going to bring them back both in line. Which is what they said to do. Keep them in line. There. there you go, that's giving me a green line which means it's locked, alright, yeah, that's what we wanted. Cool. And now, yeah, we've, we've kind of picked all this up as much as we can. Scanner. System is below bottom trawling manual. Oh, I see it, yeah, okay. Do it, do. Both trawlers are fitted with a scanner system, control system. The scanner is a pioneer amongst producers to catch control systems that offers commercial fishermen equipment for increased efficiency and financial gain. Scanner was established in 1980, where I think we're just learning the history of it. Setup. The setup, sit on your trawler's control desk and access the screen in front of you. This will enable you to customize your own screen with sensors you have four window types that you can set your sonars on. So red is your port, yeah. No, that's it. They're not really giving us anything else. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's me blabbering for it. Sorry, my bad. Hey, but hey, look, we're, we're doing all right. We're, we're nearly up to... It's only taking us half hour and we're nearly up to 60%. <laughs> right, I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to have a play with this off stream. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my guys in the hall now. Maybe once the school of fish here has passed. And then, what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so, port's my left, isn't it? And that is... On the left... Yeah, on my left. So, port is left. You can... You can oh, you can confuse me now, John. I know I've been confusing you all, all night, but... <laughs> but this is like, it's just you getting your payback on me. So uh, both lines are about even, that's great. Everything's going, we've got a school of fish in the middle there, right? so hopefully... Right, I'm gonna get my guys. Oh, hang on, get out of that. Right, okay, workers, time to work. You've rested long enough. 
Pull. 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 I will get more workers as well. Um. Pull. Back. Oh, and it's just started raining for them as well. We'll just finish this last school off. Maybe grab some last couple of fish. Come on. Go up. Go up. Go up numbers. No, I don't think we're going to get any more. We're going to give more. I don't think it's going to give me any more. Okay, right. So, let's start bringing everything in. We've got to wait now for all that to come in and we're going to haul it all up. Right, well, um, once we've hauled this so that we see what we got, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to go off stream and go to bed because I've got to be up very, very soon. But um, ultimately guys thank you very much for all everyone giving their input on on this whole trawling situation i'm gonna have to have a, a figure with it why i'm off stream and see if we can find a more practical approach to this because it takes quite a long time to fill up um so i'll have a bit more of a, an investigation into it um but ultimately guys thank you very much for coming and, and helping me out everyone has been a massive help chucking their input in here it's kind of like we've we've deciphered it amongst us just just playing with things so that's good it's always nice when you can configure things out like that it makes everything a bit more sort of yeah it, it's been fun but um i i, I do apologize that i i kind of not exactly amazing at this whole stuff but um, thank you for coming and join me for the stream. Um, if you did enjoy it, and I would greatly appreciate it if you um, remember to drop a like for the for the stream, just because it helps me out massively. And then if you haven't done so already, and you'd like to join me for the next stream, then um, I'm streaming this every Thursday. So subscribe to the channel and that means then that you can stay tuned i do check out events and then i stream on other days as well but they're usually other games if you want to come and join us you're more than welcome um but yes yeah, so thank you very much everybody i do greatly appreciate every bit of ounce of help that i've had tonight it's been absolutely fantastic uh, uh we've all kind of worked together and it's been like a bit of a team task isn't it it's been quite fun um so thank you very much guys uh have a lovely evening or day or wherever you are now and uh, i'll speak to you all again very very soon but have a nice evening folks thank you bye for now